Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Cody Bailey. It's been a pretty cloudy day, pretty much a start to finish here, but the rain really started to pick up a move in around the midday hours, but really started to increase here in coverage and its intensity over the last couple of hours. And we're pretty much solidly in this area of rain, as you can tell from live first warning Doppler radar, a little more scattered down to the south across some of our western Kentucky counties, but a pretty solid area of rain over most of southern Illinois and at least a good chunk of our southwestern Indiana counties. And this will be with us through the evening hours. As we go deeper into tonight, it'll become much more scattered and a little bit lighter in nature as well. Don't expect it to be uh, an all-night event. I think, in fact, we should uh, begin to dry out closer to daybreak tomorrow. But you can see this whole low-pressure system kind of lifting to the uh, northeast, and that's where we see that movement, and again, over some of the same areas here. Of course, some much-needed rain still, even though we are now in the winter months, still dealing with those drought-like conditions, especially in the northern and northwestern tier of the tri-state. Again, that's where we find some of those more steady, beneficial rains right now, pretty much over most of southern Illinois from uh, Richland and Lawrence counties down to Edwards, Wabash County, just pushing north and west of uh, Mount Carmel, moving through Friendsville as well, and parts of Gibson County too. The heaviest rain now pushing northeast of Princeton, but another batch there south of I-64 in Posey County. That'll be lifting back up to the northeast as well. So if you have any Saturday evening plans, uh, definitely have the rain gear handy. It's going to be with us through the next couple of hours. And again, begin to, to kind of scatter out and become more hit or miss as we go deeper into tonight as well. You can see a, uh, a gloomy uh, view from our Heads Construction Tower camera. This is a US 41 strip in Henderson. You can kind of make out to where the, the wet pavement there is on Highway 41. On the east side of Evansville, you can see the rain reflecting off of the lights there uh, close to the exit to the Lloyd Expressway and uh, I-69, that's our Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union tower camera, again looking towards the east side. Then we'll go to the west side of Evansville for the newest member of our tower camera network here from the campus of USI. It is definitely a rainy, uh, soggy campus there as well, looking down at the quad. Uh, towards the west there with those clouds really thickening up. Now this is all associated with that low pressure system which is attached to a cold front. We can see that cooler air starting to filter its way through where it's 47 up to the northwest in Fairfield but still 53 down in some of our southeastern counties and it looks like 55 the warmest spots for Santa Claus and Jasper as well. Again this is a pretty large area of low pressure uh, kind of feeding that moisture from the south uh, along and ahead of that cold front. The cold front again back towards Illinois that'll be sweeping across the area clearing out the rain by sunrise tomorrow morning, but as it does so, of course, temperatures are going to be much cooler tomorrow, but pretty close to normal. I think mid to upper 40s for your Sunday and Sunday afternoon. Unfortunately, not a lot of sunshine to deal with for our Sunday. I think we're going to be dealing with those clouds yet again for the back half of the weekend, too. But this is an updated future tracker, again, showing later on tonight the rain becoming much more scattered, and by 3 o'clock, most of the rain exiting our northeastern counties, and we start to dry out just in time for Sunday morning. And then again, the clouds are going to be with us through most of Sunday, so we'll call it mostly cloudy, a little on the breezy side, but that will really kick into gear as we head into Monday with another cold front pushing through. Now, Future Tracker does give us the cold and the wind. It tries to spit out a few flurries in our northeastern counties on Monday. High temperatures Monday are going to be struggling to get out of the 30s. On top of that, winds throughout the day will be gusting anywhere from 15 to 25 miles per hour. So cold, gloomy to start, and very windy. It's going to make for just kind of a brutal start to the work week. We do clear out by Monday evening, but just just as cold as we head into Tuesday, we will have a lot of sunshine. There was high pressure uh, takes over the tri-state. We'll be almost cloud-free, but still highs Tuesday only in the upper 30s to around 40 degrees. But we'll stay in the low 50s here this evening. That cold front pushes through upper 30s possible in our northwestern counties when that cold front will move through low to mid 40s for basically Evansville and points east and southeast for the rest of the tri-state. Then tomorrow, more clouds than sun. The rain ends early in the morning, 45 to 50 for the high. And then again, cold, windy with maybe a few flurries northeast of Evansville but very quiet once again for next week until the end of next week. Kind of similar to what we're dealing with now as we head into Friday and Saturday of next week. Warmer than normal as we head into your Christmas weekend with rain showers increasing for Friday and Saturday as well.